love affirmations to get your ex back. Manifest your crush now. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. And we're flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Be sure and click the bell icon when you subscribe because we're here five days a week to empower your life with the law of attraction, the latest in the mind sciences and personal empowerment. Okay. Listen to me. I get a lot of letters. I get thousands of letters every week. The letters just stack up and I try to get to all of them, but there is no category that I receive more letters on than when people ask, how can I get my ex back? What can I start thinking in my mind? What do I need to believe in order to attract my crush into my life? People are overwhelmed. And I think during this time that we're going through, people are, are more lonely than ever before. There is, in my opinion, there is nothing more important or a better use for the law of attraction than uniting two people who deeply love each other. High flyers. If you've recently gone through a breakup or you would like to connect on a deeper level with your crush, with the person that you love, then you may be experiencing a tremendous amount of pain. And I want to, I want to caution you in a delicate way. I understand that there's a grieving period. There's a period when you need to feel the pain. We don't want to just shove it away. But what if we changed our beliefs? What if your beliefs went from hopelessness or worry or doubt to certainty, to excitement, to passion, to joy, to love? Remember how the law of attraction works. The universe acts as a big mirror. So it reflects back exactly what you're putting out. So if you're putting out pain and neediness and worry and fear and doubt, guess what? You're attracting more of that back into your life. So high flyers. One of the things people say to me is Robert, how do I get my relationship back? How do I, fix my relationship. Hi flyers. I don't believe it's about fixing your relationship. Listen to me. I believe it's about you and the love of your life, living a new relationship, because this is so important. The old relationship, it didn't work. Something fell apart. So you need a whole new relationship with entirely new beliefs. When I was living alone and I was wondering whether Rachel and I would ever be together, I invoked two affirmations and I used these two affirmations every single day. Now here is the key high flyers. I used these affirmations, but then I didn't sit around and look at the phone all day or go on her Facebook page. I didn't do that. Why? Because that kind of energy is neediness. It's dependence. It's fear based. It's a limiting belief kind of energy that attracts exactly what you don't want it attracts the opposite. Remember, we don't attract what we want. We attract what we are and what we are becoming. So I'm going to urge each of you as I share these special affirmations with you to become something special, to become the highest version of yourself. Do everything you can to raise your vibration. I know people don't agree with me, 
But when you're up here, when you're vibrating at a high frequency, all the lower frequencies are available to you. But when you're down in the dumps, when you're vibrating at the frequency of pain or jealousy or fear or doubt or anger, very little is available to you. Think about this for a moment. A rich person who has a lot of money can live at any strata of life that he or she chooses. He can live in a multi-million dollar mansion. She can live in a luxury apartment. They can even choose to live on the streets under the bridge. But a poor person who lives under the bridge doesn't have those options. Well, they do. They just don't have them immediately because their thinking is that of living under the bridge. Their thinking is that of surviving rather than thriving. High flyers in your love life. It's not about surviving. It's about thriving. So listen to these two powerful affirmations. I use them in my own life. They work for me. And I, I, I don't give credit just to the affirmations. I had to change my belief system. I had to believe with absolute certainty, with no doubts allowed to enter my mind that Rachel and I had an incredible love affair and it was getting stronger and more beautiful and more wonderful every day. And I can honestly say this a few days before Mother's Day, it absolutely is. It has grown so much, so much deeper with so much more depth than I ever could have imagined back, back in those early days when I was a, trying to attract her into my life. I could have never imagined where we'd be at right now, but the universe can, the universe can take you to higher limits with your love affair, with your love relationship than you have ever been in your entire life. High flyers. Here is your first affirmation. Say it with me aloud right now. We are lovers living a passionate, committed relationship. So beautiful souls, high flyers. As you say that affirmation, feel yourself living that beautiful, loving, committed, passionate relationship. Feel it with all your soul. Allow it to permeate your energy field. Just don't say the words. Invoke the feelings. Feelings are what make the difference. Okay. The second affirmation is so simple. It is absolutely simple, but it is so powerful. We love doing things together. Oh my gosh. We love doing things together. This morning, Rachel and I went out and played golf. Well, I played golf. She drove the cart, but we loved being together. That's the whole idea. We love doing things together. So one of the things I urge you to do is take one of one of those two affirmations, do them both but take one of them and use the three by 33 method. In other words, you write it down 33 times the affirmation and you do it for three days in a row and then you stop, you detach, you let it go. And then three days later, you come back and do it again and then you detach and let it go. And you do that for a while. I can't tell you how long, but do it as long as you feel you need to. Every time you sit down to write your affirmation 33 times, feel it, feel it in your soul. Let it run through your body. Let it give you goosebumps and believe it. Trust it. Trust the universe with all your soul, with all your heart. You are about to manifest something absolutely incredible. Here's some more videos that may help.